Well, getting a new phone or tablet can be exciting, but it's not cheap. Mm -mm. Megan O'Rourke tells us what you can do to make your devices last longer and stretch your dollar further. Good morning, guys. The idea of upgrading to the latest and greatest tech may sound awesome, but the price tag they often carry is anything but, especially when you're watching your budget. So to make your phone or tablet last longer, there are a few things that you can do first and maybe most obvious. Get a good case. It will not only help to protect it in the event of a drop, but will help keep it in overall better condition for higher resale if or when you decide to upgrade. A good case will also help to keep it clean, which leads to the next tip. Make sure your screen and ports are dust, grease and dirt free. You can gently use a cotton swab or toothpick to get in the tiny nooks and crannies. And as long as your screen isn't cracked, a disinfectant wipe is going to work just fine. Now, as for what's inside the phone, make sure you're not skipping any updates. They fix bugs and any existing security issues. If you have a lot of apps that you don't use, delete them. They're going to waste storage space and will make everything just overall run much more slowly. And finally, don't stress or overheat your device's battery, meaning don't let it routinely die. Sit out in the hot sun or worse, keep it somewhere like a sofa or bed where it can't get any airflow. They can overheat and shut down, damaging the video chip inside and overcharging can be just as bad. Instead, experts say to keep it charged somewhere between 40 and 80% to keep it at optimal performance and give it a break and power it down regularly. Taking good care of your devices will help to make sure you not only stretch their life, but your dollar as well. Back to you guys. And of course, we want to know how you're stretching your dollar. Grab your phone and scan the QR code. Chime in a picture or video and share your money-saving tips. You may see them featured right here on Dayton 24-7 now.